democracy and who are going to be the puppet lapdogs of the elite few who actually run this country, the major corporations and the families, the few families who own them all. Uh, I believe when they're elected president, they're taken to a, uh, a room, a smoky room, 12 guys with cigars, all industrialists, and a screen comes down and they go, roll the tape. And what, you, what the president, new president sees is uh, footage of Kennedy's assassination, only from an angle, we've never seen it. <laughs> Kind of, it looks like he's, uh, the cameraman was uh, right over the grassy knoll, actually. <laughs> the, uh, the screen goes back up and the lights come on and the industrialist goes, uh, any questions? <laughs> and the new president goes, uh, what do y'all want me to say? And they go, here's your agenda, my body friend. You can play your little puppet fucking role. And your first mission is to bomb Iraq to make people think that we are a tough nation. And it's so funny to me that when they were on the news too about the the Iraqs or the Iraqi alleged assassination attempt. Basically, it was a car bomb that you know the guy driving was going to kill himself too. And everyone's going, "What a cowardly act! What a cowardly act!" Well, wait a minute. This guy's in a car bomb, going to blow himself up against this huge fucking capitalist New World Order leader, America. And meanwhile, we're launching cruise missiles from 200 miles away on floating iron islands. Uh, who are the cowards again? Point out cowardice to me again in the dictionary. I apparently didn't get the meaning correctly when I read it. And again, when I read cowardice, I always... Anyway. Folks, it's time to evolve ideas. We, you know, evolution did not end with those growing thumbs. You do know that, right? It didn't end there. We're at the point now where we, we're going to have to evolve ideas. The reason the world's so fucked up is we're undergoing evolution. And the reason our institutions, our traditional religions are all crumbling is because they're no longer relevant. <laughs> They're no longer relevant. So it's time for us to create a new philosophy and perhaps even a new religion, you see. And that's okay, because that's our right, because we are free children of God with minds who can imagine anything. And that's kind of our role. <laughs> How do you evolve ideas? I'll give you an example right here. By the way, there are more dick jokes coming. Please <laughs> You know, I'm starting to lose them a little bit here with this shit. I'm like digging a fucking hole right now. Bilgo, he dug himself right through the planet. I hear people heckling in Chinese right now. Why, why you not do dick joke? Do dick joke, when the crowd back. No one wants to hear your philosophy, they want to hear dick joke. Wow, what a completely rational heckler. They pay to hear dick joke, not to hear you talk about the President Bush. Here's how you evolve an idea, I'll give you an example. Why is the drug czar of this country, well, let's go back. Why do we have a drug czar in this country? A. B, why is he a cop? Why isn't he a guy in recovery who's had an alcohol and or drug addiction and overcome it? And why doesn't he help people with the same problem with compassion rather than condemnation? Why do we put people who are on drugs in jail? They're sick, they're not criminals. Sick people don't get healed in jail. See, it makes no sense. And if we evolve the idea, you see, the planet might be more compassionate and something like heaven might dawn. Heaven might dawn or something weird like that. See, that's how you evolve an idea. I'll give you another example of how to evolve an idea. Confucius used to say, what is the sound of one hand clapping? And he said it kind of as an enigmatic way to say, well, nothing, there's no sound. And you know what I say? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Confucius. <laughs> Let's move on. I want everyone here to take the five dried grams I taped under your all chairs right now. <laughs> under your chairs, check them out. 
Check them out. Under your chair. Let's go, man. The fucking UFOs are waiting in the fifth dimension. Let's go! We'll do it later. We'll do it as a closer. Mushrooms grow naturally on the planet, they're against the law. Marijuana grows naturally on the planet, it's against the law. Do you think making nature against the law seems a bit, I don't know, unnatural? <laughs> Why are the two drugs that are legal, alcohol and cigarettes, two drugs that do absolutely nothing for you at all, <laughs> legal, but the drugs that might open your mind up to realize how you're being fucked every day of your life, <laughs> those drugs are against the law, huh? Coincidence? <laughs> One never knows, and yet, I pose these theories for you to dwell on, but frankly, they're wearing me down. I look like Hervé Villache by the end of my life. <laughs> I am still alive, thank you, sir. <laughs> you know what I mean? You want a better world, ladies and gentlemen? Legalize pot right now. <laughs> you want to end deficit? Legalize pot. Right now. I am so sick of hearing about the goddamn deficit, I could fucking puke blood. <laughs> there ain't no fucking deficit, it's a fucking lie, and it's a fucking illusion in the first place. But you want to end it? You want to end it? Legalized pot, biggest cash crop in America. Deficit's gone. I am so sick of hearing about it. Well, your leaders misspent your hard-earned tax dollars, so you, the people, now have to tighten your belts, and we gotta start paying this back. Because we, your leaders, misspent your money. You know what make tightening my belt a little easier? If I could tighten it around Jesse Helms' scrawny little chicken man. Sacrifice right now. You fucking tobacco pushing motherfucker. You are the worst fucking drug dealer in the fucking world. You scrawny right wing fear mongering piece of sucker of Satan's cock. You suck Satan's cock. You fucking chicken neck little fucking cracker. I'd tighten my belt if that were the case. I'd eat bologna for a week, you know what I mean? I'd sacrifice. Boy, Jesse Helms is another great one, isn't he? Just another little fevered ego tainting our collective unconscious. Because you know, anyone, like Swagger, anyone that far to the right is hiding a very deep and dark secret. You do know that, right? I'm an armchair fucking uh, psychologist, but anyone that, you know when Jesse Helms finally dies, he's gonna commit suicide, first of all, in a wash tub out back underneath a pecan tree. He's gonna slash his wrist, and he's gonna write in blood, I've been a bad boy. You know they're gonna find the skins of young children drying in his attic. Swarms of horse flies going in and out of the eaves, and on CNN, over and over, his wife going, I always wondered about Jesse's collection of little shoes. <laughs> Anyone that far to the right is fucking hiding a deep, dark secret. But alcohol is legal. They push alcohol 24 hours a day on TV. They push it down your throat. Drink beer, drink beer, drink beer. Why? Well, because it makes you slow and stupid and docile, and that's the way we like you to be. You know, it's only the number two killer drug in the world, but I've actually seen beer commercials during war against drug specials. No sense of irony. No irony, you know, no one fucking gives a shit. Marijuana, uh, you know, cigarettes legal, alcohol legal. 
kill uh, more people than all other illegal drugs combined times 1,000. They are illegal. Marijuana, a drug that kills... Uh, no one! No one. And let's put it in a time frame. Ever. Marijuana is against the law. Uh, you tell me why. I, I, I've given up. Uh, you want a better world, legalize pot, okay? Yeah. It's better drug, I'm telling you, it's better. I'll prove it to you. You're at a ball game, you're at a concert, someone's really violent, aggressive, and obnoxious. Are they drunk or are they smoking pot? <laughs> wow, we all know the truth. <laughs> I have never seen people on pot get in a fight because it's fucking impossible. They put the wood. End of argument. Say you get in a car accident and you've been smoking pot. You're only going four miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, we hit something. <laughs> Got to open the garage door, dude. Perpetuating civilization. <laughs> There's going to be some sacrifices when this happens. I'm, there are. I hope we can live with them. The end of our military involvement as we spread democracy via gunpoint all over the world. The end of racial hatred. It's going to be gone. Oh, can we live with that? Are you all cool with that? Huh? You all right? <laughs> The end of being the enemy of the planet instead of living in harmony with it. Can y'all, can we do that? Are y'all cool with that? Uh, everything they tell you about pot is a lie. I tell you pot smoking makes you unmotivated. That is definitely a lie. Because when you're high, you can do everything you normally do just as well. You just realize... It's not worth the fucking effort. <laughs> Big difference. Sure, I could get up at dawn, get in traffic, go to a job I hate that does not inspire me creatively whatsoever for the rest of my life. I could do that. What is it, one string? How fucking hard can that be? <laughs> Folks, there's gonna be sacrifices. The end of nationalism. Can you live with that? The idea that the world is round and we're all brothers, that's gonna happen. Are you okay with that? <laughs> Some pretty big sacrifices. I know we're, I like living in the world of fear as much as you do. I love the fact that we live in a world of unresolvable problems that in the future.